everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. This is a bit of history here, a bit of uh, going back into memory lane on Selene talking about getting her new manager again, getting a new manager again. And here we have the bigger one so, so you guys can see everything. Um, I want to let you guys know I got a new manager again. Again. So, um, <laughs> so didn't you got a new manager last time when you came back from Niji Fest? Yeah, I got another I, new manager again. This time I'm sharing it with Exole. No, they didn't run away. See, she even said I'm sharing it with Exole. How many people are in freaking Exole? That's like six people for manager. And, and Selen needed their own manager as we can see right now is Doki Bird. She has her own manager, and her manager's doing well. Hey! Okay! <laughs> I'm not scary! Look, I was so sad! I was so sad! It was just like, they're just like rearranging managers. Okay? They're rear- It's not just me! It's Obsidia! It's not me! Okay, guys? I'm not scary! I'm a great person! My manager loves me! My manager who's not my manager anymore loves- I don't know, me. Like, look, we hanged out a lot in Japan, okay? And I was there. Stop judging me! I'm a good person! <laughs> so yeah that's even she says she's sharing it with x -Soleil. that's a lot of people to share it with being as big as selen was coming across it again matters given a manager who was two week, week old higher for me i see a manager someone who helps us strategize but it was far from what we got the manager they assigned to manage our whole generation of six was someone who was two week old higher this is from uh zion lanza one girl story it was not the manager who trained us for the whole month of November with whom we developed the bond, nor the person who worked with us through onboarding. Anytime I had a call with our manager to discuss something, their manager was also on. And it was pretty much just me asking him stuff when I sat there and nodded her head. If there was something I wished to do or something I thought was worth fighting for, it felt like it, was a, it wasn't fought for. All I experienced with the, with the expectations to bow your head down and not question the system. So Zion had bad management. It seemed like Selen started having bad management, sharing it with XLA and other people. This is just holy moly. This is this is directly from their mouth. This isn't us making a rumor. This is directly from their mouth. It makes you wonder how their little how little their Kurosanji and management. Two effing waves have the same goddamn manager. WTF Kurosanji? Exactly. It's basically they're sharing it with XLA. That is even worse. Like I can understand if it's like a jet of three, like TTT having their own manager, or maybe Denoth having their own manager, like one for three. It's still bad, but it's a little better. But having over six people and having just one manager for them, that's just BS. Rush it off before thinking it was just normal stuff. Look back at this now. All I can say is wow, one manager managing two waves, XLA and Obsidia, must be Superman. How can a single person they can't? That's the simple answer. Yeah, I can't even finish the sentence because they can't. It's just bad management overall. It does support the theories about them being punished for going over people's heads to try to speed projects up. You can't have good projects being sped through if you have one manager for eight people or 10 people or whatever it is that it ended up being for two freaking different and unique generations. They can't, one person can't handle all of that. They don't. Usually you have several managers for that, especially in entertainment. This here is a question. It is not meant to be anything negative. It is, you know, just a question. Uh, seeing Aniti Sanji sullied her reputation through mud in her name, how bad it is. Is she blacklisted from joining agencies every shoujo? No, she's not. She's not blacklisted from joining anything. Um, and of course, don't be dumb and don't ask questions directly of her. Please don't go into any of her streams. It's already caused issues in the past. We do not want it to cause issues for her again. She's a very sweet girl. She's a very sweet woman. He's a very sweet person out there trying to create content on their own. Take the content that she has at face value as a Sayu content, not as a former Niji content, not as a former Niji liver or talent or anything. That was a past. Now is now. Sayu is now. Sayu is going to be happy now, of course. I don't think Black Blacklisted, but at least she has a case outside of Shoujo, just undesirable. Like a lot of people want to stay away from anyone who is, you know, bad, uh, bad blood, bad um, reputation, bad, you know, seen as either, either being too close to drama or too close to whatever. She did nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. But uh, sometimes situations like this happen to you when you really don't even deserve it. Uh, in case of Ishojo, the nature of the agency, the talent are the ones who allow or veto any new membership. So it could be that they're, you know, they're just like, yeah, no, she's too, too much of a hot potato right now. Who knows? She collabed with Kaysan when she went to Japan. Uh, Doki just showed us the blacklist is not real. Just a matter of who reaches out to who first. So yeah, don't treat her as a blacklisted person. Treat her as Sayu, synchronicity. Not as anything before. 
Right now, she is the one, the only Cyrus Synchronicity who's going to Afkai, by the way. So remember to support her at Afkai as well. Ever shown any interest in joining another agency? But if yes, think Vishojin Hale would be unlikely due to the ties that members have currently and former members to any of the other organizations like Niji Sanji. It just becomes an, a whole tangled web. But of course, I repeat for like the fifth time now, treat her as Cyrus Synchronicity. Don't treat her as Zion Lanza. That is past, dead, done you know, completed with, she should not be judged on anything that happened in the past, but what is going on now? This person here, Atsuma, is uh, mentioning the another speculation. You know, I love looking at speculations, Give looking at, at what the community thinks about the whole Raziel situation. This is in the Kurosanji subreddit. It's brand new, so it's not going to be on the hot side. Uh, the person says, made the statement before posting as a reply, going back to video armchair made, went heavily into the idea that folk devils and how anyone can be a folk devil. Well, yeah, pretty much with this, she's become a folk devil. She's not going to be forgotten. She's going to be hopefully not martyrized or anything like that, because I don't think anything negative is going to come about this. I don't think there's actually going to be any lawsuits or anything like that popping up. But it's because Raziel's coming out uh, about Luca. They have false ID backing her. Kurosanji was not expecting this. They were not expecting someone would have so much information on what's been going on with Luca or anything about any of their VTubers, honestly, in my opinion. Misty Meter is a company. And the fact that the company said that as of April 12th, they had ways of people to contact them, which means before April 12th, there was nothing, which means what Raziel was saying was very true. They just don't like the fact that it came out there and it became such a big thing. This blew up, putting more of the puzzle together and shining Kurosanji further into blacker light. It was backed by so much information, incredible sources, even false comments on these throughout some of the videos. He has confirmed these sources within the document. So you have two people confirming the sources, which you know is very true. Now this scares the black company. They have to change target now and now they stop people from further talking or coming out with information. Although, we have the Streisand effect. That is one big thing that happens, the Streisand effect. And that's hitting them hard right now. They try to imitate and make Raziel intimidate and make Raziel into a folk devil. Try to make them seem like she did all wrong and to scare her from making any statement of this. This folk devil attempt failed. Only confirmed that the document contains truth or at least information that they want to hide. And, you know, certain things were true because, you know, she said that there was no way for people to complain about, you know, uh, harassment or anything like that. And that seems to be very true because of the fact they said only after April 14th or April 12th did they have something like that April 12th of 2024, which means during the time that Raziel put it out, which was on March, uh, it would not have been out there. We go to false newer video, further supports it. Uh, they're making a folk devil failed, you know, it, it's a two-year NDA, which ended on the 20, on 2023, on December 6th. So she's not covered by that. Their cease and desist doesn't do anything. She has no reason to stop. Everything that she has out there has already been taken down. Uh, the only things that are still out there are things that other people have uploaded. So they're going to have to, you know, play whack-a-mole and try to cut the heads off of a Hydra. But the Hydra is going to keep growing more. And that's the thing that's, go that's going on here. It uh, wasn't an attempt to make it a folk devil's censorship. It was censorship. Um, but yeah, it's whether it be censorship or trying to make a folk devil, in this case, they failed badly because they didn't even know uh, how to defend themselves properly being a large company. All they did was like, hey, lawyer guy, go and send a cease and desist and say this and this and that. And then, you know, make it in your lawyer speak, pretty much. Today, we're talking about a little bit of a smaller VTuber. Um, of course, you can see they have at least a smaller presence on uh, Twitter, but on Twitch, they do have their, uh, their, you know, their fan base, which is fine. Their fan base is a bit bigger on Twitch as 1.5K followers, but no matter the size, when someone does what this person is saying was done to them, it is never good. What happened? They commissioned a JP artist to do the new model in August, 2023, made a full payment by September, 2023. So it was fully paid and expect it to be shown, of course. Uh, made full payment by September 2023. She then provided me with little or to no update until I keep pestering her until April 2024, where I told her to get it done by June. She did send me frequent updates in, until May, in May. I had a lot of revisions. It might be because of the language barrier, but some things were wrong, but I didn't realize that there were a lot more things that were wrong until I got the PSD file. When I got the PSD from her, I realized that her line arts were crooked and there were things that were not connected. All in all, it was very obvious that she rushed through the commission. And as I asked her to make the adjustments, I noticed more things that were crooked, wrong, which I didn't mention, except for that I would like her to change the color of my cat paws as it was meant to be blue, which she did not want to change as she claimed that in my ref sheet, it was white. Yet you can clearly see from the ref sheet, the colors are stated there. I asked her whether she can change it myself since I d uh, she won't do it. And she gave me such an attitude, but like, I shouldn't even be doing my own revisions. Like you shouldn't be doing your own revisions. It should be done by them. Just so mad. What's worse is that even after I asked her to revise, some things I specifically asked to adjust was not even adjusted, and I'm just at a loss. Also, her terms and conditions state that delivery will be done in two months after payment. Even if I had not stated the specific delivery time, it's kind of common sense that you don't leave a client hanging. 
Is this how you treat your clients? I beg of you, please stop doing business. And here's what they wrote. The ear, hands, and tails are all different colors. Ear, hands are white. Suddenly, color change is very annoying. It's actually blue. I think the, per I think the picture is just not clear. If you had told me when you asked me to check, it could have handled it right away. It will end with the delivery as, as is this time. Since I won't change it, I change it myself since it's changing the color. And it says you're good over there. Okay, you made a wait for eight months. Only started on my model when I told you to get it done by June. It's very obvious that you rushed through my commission. And after I received the PSD file, I noticed all the flaws because the updates you sent me far so far weren't clear. So they seem to have maybe intentionally, unintentionally sent uh, un like blurry photos to make the flaws look less. You didn't even draw the lines properly. The least you could do is get my commission right after making me wait for so long. I'm not even asking you to redraw the cat. Simply, simply change the color because I know for a fact you set the reference sheet with the color of my cat and the color was beside it. Uh, but since you won't do it, I'm asking you whether I can change it myself or maybe ask some other artists to change. Is that okay? That's because we did not specify a delivery date, although it says after two months after. So why didn't you specify a delivery date? If you knew it would be late, you should have specified a delivery date. Basically, they're going delivery date a lot. Uh, also delivered by June. It's okay to have other illustrators make changes. Yes, I'm fine with having other illustrators make changes. Thank you very much. Don't need to reply. And the ref sheet is this one. Uh, the colors are right there. It's blue. It, it looks, well, I mean, I can see that it can kind of look white. I can see that it can kind of look white there. I will give a little bit of leeway there. It does kind of look white. It's a very, 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 very light blue, but the colors are right next to the ref itself. If they put like the hair is blue or anything else at, that was blue is white, then you have a problem there because the colors are right there next to it. Um, the colors here as well are next to the cat, but the cat looks very, very white. Looks very white. So I can understand that end of it. I will give a little bit of leeway there. There you just pick and drop option for colors. Exactly. That's what you can do. You can take the colors and pick and drop. So even if it was like a confusion with white or blue or whatever like that, you can do pick and drop. You can literally go on the cat itself on the darkest part of the cat or whatever, darkest part of the, the that shading of the paws and see what color it is and just use that color. You know, you could just use that color and then it would be fine. So that's the issue that I have there. But it says I didn't expect this post to get much attention, honestly, but I posted regarding my model situation yesterday because the artist told me she will not be contacting me anymore regarding the issue. Artist has reached out to me regarding the issue and we have apologized to each other. He also said she will be fixing the cat parts. I'd also like to thank you for everyone that reached out to me and offered to help fix my model and those who offered to make me a model. I really appreciate every single one of you for trying to help a stranger like me. Please don't harass the artist and just let it be a, a learning point for everyone. Good. I'm glad that they actually fixed this issue. I'm glad that the issue was fixed because that's what we want. We want closure. We want things to go well. I'm very, very happy that this happened. Uh, yeah, sorry about this. I got caught. Apology and they're rushing to minimize the damage, even if it is. Doesn't matter. The fact is it's getting fixed. You minimize the damage, whatever. It's understandable to do that, to minimize the damage. But if it gets fixed, that's what matters. You know, this is a VTuber called Azuru. Model tracking is so good in quality. Good Lord. Every time I see something like this, I cannot unsee the screenshots from the AR Live. How do they make the VR chat medals like this? You know, it's basically Hunst. Oh, no, he's not. Yes, Azuru is actually actively doing that right now. He has his stuff. He has 383 people on here. Uh, it's just, you know. It's a VTuber. Not sure if... I, yeah, I follow them. Apparently, I follow them. Uh, they have a deep voice, by the way. So, yeah, get ready for that. So good. I can, uh, hey, yeah. Like, ah. you're hearing it there? He has a deep voice. Ah. So, who are wondering who so yeah, he has his voice. Room. He has his funniness. Right. I think he's, he's British. He's British or something like that from the British Isles. Azadu was able to pay somebody to do it properly, not to do it all messed up, like how uh, Nidhi Sanji tries to do it. And uh, good for him. As you're seeing, you know, all the wonderful stuff that, that he's getting done. Now he's bald, uh, you know, and he's uh, there with Charity, I believe, as well. A birthday stream plus 2.0 debut. So he has the full 3D 2.0 debut. That's actually pretty good with tracking and everything. That's better than what Nidhi Sanji is doing. Nidhi Sanji is a humongous corporation and he's just a VTuber. Like a, he has 22K followers, of course, but he's just a regular old VTuber there. You know, it's, it's a shame that Nidhi Sanji can't do the same. This 3.0 showcase is showing a specific part of the peacock's body, the peahen, the peahen's body. Uh, and it says, thumbnail approved by M-chan. Of course it was. Insert Muna singing high tide chorus in the thumbnail background. It's pulling you in like gravity. Tobrut. Uh, it was going to post a stream link, but I guess I don't have to. Great peacock ahead. Cute and ferocious. Peahen. Yes. And here is the, the stuff going on. Here is, basically it has her in the background, has all this kind of stuff. Like she's doing the full showcase of everything going on. It, it has it has pretty good like movement. And one thing that I like, look, you guys, I know what you guys are looking at. 
But here's the thing. I can. They made the movement natural. They didn't make it like jello. They didn't make it like when you slap jello and it keeps moving for like 30 seconds. They didn't make it that way. They made it natural. They made all the movements natural. They made the bone structure natural. They didn't make the front all like freaking jiggle physics everywhere. Like jiggle physics turned to 11. So that's good. That's what Hololive does. Hololive makes sure that the that the people who um, are rigging aren't rigging it to be overly, you know, one way or the other. So yeah, as you can see, it moves more naturally. It doesn't move too crazily. Um, she also her hair, the bone structure of the hair, which is crazy, also doesn't move unnaturally. Okay. It has a little bit of it, it has a little bit of oh uh, of course it's gonna have nice. some stiffness to it that looks like because well life 2D has oh a certain God. restrictions and so then you have beautiful. you know the eyes all that kind of stuff oh. so she did the showcase about 11 hours ago and we have of course the other showcases here she did a green screen for people she did the smug face she did uh you know the surprise face the kind of the the dead eyes uh smiles the the hearts the breathing heavily, you know, the, the, again, the dead eyes, the crying, the, the ahegao, I guess, as well. The big one, the ahegao, the, the, the smiling crying. And then, she, again, like I said, she went on, uh, she also has keyboard stuff, which is just is cool. All that stuff, the keyboard stuff is actually pretty cool. She has something for when she draws, when she plays, she, you know, waving, the movements, the smiles, the tongue sticking out. They went all out on the 3.0s. Because Hololive has their own... Uh, thing their own app like VTube studio they have their own internal app that they use so all of this has to work with their app which is why it takes a while for them to get the 3.0s but when they get them as you can see even the Indonesian branch gets them that picture of hypersonic wiggling came for the 3.0 booba uh, I was not disappointed by the 3.0 booba we call it 3.0 Trabrut Rene Pog we know even Muna's cousin Oshi's Rene she knows what her fans love it's like yeah I mean like you're gonna be a woman you're gonna have booba that's gonna that's just gonna be a thing don't go crazy people but also, don't go crazy with the jiggle physics. For God's sakes, make it natural. That's my that's my take on it, at least. And that's what that's what uh, Hollow Life did. They made it natural. Hexa VT is a uh, goblin. Is a little a little goblin partnered with Advanced GG and Official Throne. Uh, Hexa Sketch. They have 144K 4K followers. They are uh, mentioning that they were sick. It is the worst week for me to be sick. Please. It went by triple seven people to now have laryngitis and it demise patiently. I hope you have some recovery, preferably before off Kai. Yeah, she's trying to go to the off Kai meet and greet. It is very unfortunate. Uh oh. Two hours ago, she did write that she's at the hospital. Uh, unfortunately, due to my recent lung issues, I did have to back out of doing the official watch along. However, there are tons of really amazing girls that are hosting their own. It should definitely give them the amazing talents over via Lure some support. That was several hours ago. I'm so sad. I love watching cute girls. Thank you again so much, Oshi Live, for letting me robo my way around. It was so much fun to meet a few of you, and I'm so excited to meet around, you know, meet other people for doing this. So four hours ago, they were doing this kind of robot, which is something that Ofkai is offering. It's actually pretty cool to do this, to actually have this offered for VTubers. It actually is very awesome. However, someone was lurking in the background, you know, just having all this is great. I'm glad they were able to do that. No hospital, we power through, but that's what, what was happening before. And now they're saying they're at the hospital. My guess is that the lung issues were a little too much. Get well soon. Are you okay? Please get well soon. So uh, hoping, of course, for the best for them. Hoping that things work out perfectly for them and they, they do, you know, they get what they need to get. They have as much fun as they're going to have. All that kind of stuff works out perfectly for them. That's my hope, at least. Mint is collabing with Vishojo. Another positivity moment for her. Another positively wonderful moment for her. Took this thread to remind myself Mint is not officially part of Vishojo. At least not yet. Probably not going to be a part of it because I think she's just doing her own thing for a while. Uh, she's actually starting to get into the groove of things. Uh, so she, if she doesn't do it, you know, no one push her. Of course, no one push her in any way, shape or form. Mint is heavenly honorary Vishojo member. It reminds me a bit of Ui Shugure, Shigure, and Hololife. Yeah, Ui Shigure, yeah. Vishojo can sponsor Mint and have a mini concert. Let's be frank, her career path is bright. Everything's going well. She doesn't necessarily need Vishojo. It'd be nice if she was in Vishojo, but she doesn't need them. I'm um, saying there's a guaranteed chance. She doesn't need to be a part of it. That's what I mean, of course. Uh, and it says, honestly, I'm not sure what she's going to do. I don't think she's going to join, but I don't know if she wants to stay indie. Like, we don't know. It's just rumors, speculation, if you want to say that it's going to be that part. I think it's most likely that Mata, that Mitch joining, maybe even during Ofkai, could be the non-compete and are letting Michi have time to shine. Could be that they're trying to scout her. It could be. 
Uh, right now, it's all rumor until everything has been proven. Of course, I just want to make sure that even though, you know, some people are like, oh my God, you're too nice to, to, to do this kind of stuff. I do want to be someone that has um, at least some sense of integrity and not just trying to blow things up for the sake of blowing things up. Uh, an Iron Mouse stand literally only coming here for Mint News. Seeing Mousy happy. This makes me so excited for Mousy. She's going to have so much fun doing that with the girls. She already has to use Robot for cons. So this is the Maid Cafe that they have in Ofkai Expo. What they're going to be doing for the Maid Mint is going to be 3.30 p.m. They have that little robot that they use. Iron Mouse and Treya, all these people are going to be there. Um, they have a little robot that they use for their uh, Vishojo stuff. Of course, um, they always use that stuff for the uh, for the the um, the maid the maid cafes. It's gonna be fun, and of course, this is you know Vishojo doing everything to support their their talents. Of course, they're trying to support them the best they can, and of course, go support them if you're at Ofkai. Ofkai is in uh, Sacramento or something like that up there. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna no wait. Ofkai is in is it in Oregon? I believe it's in Oregon. Maybe my bad. Yeah, Ofkai is is yeah. Just go to Ofkai. Just go to freaking Ofkai. He's doing the the venue map. It's right here. Uh, arcade gaming. It's the Itasha display is going to be there. There's going to be heavy Tasha's. You have vendor artist, idol, and V4 Mariah main stage. Uh, Grand archive, arcade, you know, arcade and gaming. You have the Ofkai V Shoujo Cafe over here. It's a big part. Industry track, atrium, you know, all those types of things. Um, it's going to be Grand Peninsula Foyer. It's vendors hall, convention hours, the area that's going to be at. All this kind of fun stuff. It's going to be in Burning Game. Uh, California. So it is going to be in Northern California. Burling Game, California. So yeah, it is going to be fun. And go enjoy yourself and enjoy Vishojo if you get the chance to. A little bit of levity around here, giving uh, Matad a little bit of a moment. Mine is even worse. This right here is private. I can't translate it, but it's something personal to me. Ah, okay. And 24. <laughs> yes. Because my flesh woman had it done on her 24th birthday. And as you nice. can see by the state of the tattoo, that was a really long time ago. As you can see, <laughs> by the absolute state of this tattoo. That's it. That's why it says 24. It's so cringe. No. It's so not. Ah! At least y'all know I'm at least 24. <laughs> Don't worry, Matara. <laughs> we knew you were at least 24. We knew you were at least 24. There are many posters. But today, this poster is for you, my dear. Why am I so spicy this morning? Honestly, to be completely honest with you, I think it's just the extra time off I've been taking. I think it's just that I've been taking time off. I've been going to the sun. The sun does something crazy to me. I think it just makes my hormones, you know, react. Oh, no, oh. thank you for the gift. And I am not reading that out loud. I think going <laughs> outside in the sun just makes me. I'm not going to say it out loud, but you, you get where I'm going. I don't know. Just, you know, life is good. I might be a dried up old hag, but, you know, not everywhere. Not everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It just, if I go into the sun, I'm a hot girl again, you know? <laughs> oh, God. She, that's that's why she touches uh, grass so often. Oh, it recharges you definitely. With enough power, you can reignite a dying star. There we go. I'm getting reignited. I'm getting reignited by the by the by the sun. Praise the sun. Mine. <laughs> praise the sun. Praise Matara. Praising the sun. She's not dry everywhere. We'll just leave it at that. We won't say too much about that. But that's a little bit of levity for you guys. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.